Okay, so what we've got here is a little setup made from some bits that I pulled out of a microwave oven. If you want to know how to get these bits, have a look at my video getting bits from a microwave oven. Uh, what we've got here is the microwave oven transformer. Um, this is the input side of it, that's the thick wire coil, and that's connected to the mains through that safety switch, which means I can stand a little bit away from it and turn it on. On the other side of it, which is the output side, and on this side it's um, the thin coil, so it's a coil made up of the thin wires. This one's connected through the ground of the, the main part of it. There's the ground connection there, screwing to the main block of it. And then the other side of the coil comes from there and connects to these four microwave oven capacitors, which are connected in, C in parallel. That then is connected to this little thing. What this is, is a spark plug. And bottom of the spark plug is connected to one side of the capacitor series and the top case of the spark plug is connected to the other side. And what that means is when I fire this thing, the spark jumps across the inside. Now, um, the reason there's a Coke can in the bottom there is I actually fired a tomato up into the air and I jammed the tomato onto the top there and it blew the spark plug out of the copper. And so I rammed it back in and put this Coke can there so that when I do that experiment again, it doesn't blow the thing to pieces, which it did do last time. Now, this little setup, what it does is uh, charges these capacitors from, um, from the mains using that transformer. When the charge gets big enough, there's enough voltage there, the spark will jump across the spark gap, and what that does is dumps all of the energy into those capacitors into that little brass chamber there. And anything that's in that little brass chamber is basically going to blow up. And that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so like I say, anything that gets caught in that, between that spark is going to blow up. And what we're going to blow up is ordinary water. So just to prove it's ordinary water for you. There you go. <coughs> and all we have to do is pop a little bit of water in there to charge it. <coughs> go and get the switch. And one, two, three, there you go. Close <laughs> up, quite impressively, I think. Now, when it blows up, it shoots the water out there. So you have to recharge it again. And one, two, three, <laughs> off it goes. It's quite good for getting a shower. <laughs> so let's recharge it again. This is the bit where I blew it to pieces last time. Like I said, I stuffed the tomato on, and it really made a difference. One, two, three. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Blowing up tomatoes. You can make quite a state out of it, actually. Okay, so the other thing you can do with this thing <coughs> is blow up little bits of wire. In there, you probably can't see it, is a really thin piece of wire held on two nails. So we need to connect that up. Now you need to connect it up with the spark gap still in place. If you don't do that, it'll act like a heater. So remember the spark gap's like a switch and it dumps all that energy in there suddenly. That's why these things blow up. Okay, so it's connected up with the spark gap. One, two, three. There you go. You can blow wire. A nice bit of wire to pieces. The other thing you can do, incidentally, so that <coughs> one that we did there had a little charge of water and we blew the water out of the thing. Here, and we put it in completely in the water. And what will happen, or what should happen, is that will electrolyze, and it's a plasma electrolysis. So it's different to every battery happens. There's loads of little explosions going on there, so that'll light up, and you'll see it bubbling away, and loads of explosions will go on. Okay. <laughs> and ready, one, two, three. There you go. <coughs> it's pretty destructive. It blows those things to pieces, so they don't last very long. But kind of cool. There you go. Okay, thank you for watching.